like Bill Goldberg and Tony Khan finding it interesting that he's a free agent. This is also up on the front page over at WrestlingObserver.com. It says here in a podcast interview hyping up ticket sales for AEW Double or Nothing, Khan was asked about his recent or asked about his interest in the free agent who he's got to know partially through charitable ties via Goldberg's family in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Khan says that he has a lot of respect for Bill. I think Bill Goldberg is a great professional athlete and has had a great pro- career in professional wrestling and is a very nice person, he said. It's a household name in pro wrestling, so interesting to hear that he is a free agent, so that's something to follow. He's one of the biggest names in wrestling and will certainly be something else for us to keep an eye on. And uh, so basically he said nothing there. That's really nothing at all except for Bill's a nice guy and, hey, he's a free agent. Okay. I don't know where Bill Goldberg would fit in AEW, even bringing him in for one show. But, uh, you know, certainly if you're going to do something with Sting, if this is Sting's last year, which he has certainly made it sound like it, it absolutely is, you know, Goldberg and Sting, if you wanted to do a one-off type of match, I don't think is the worst idea in the world. I'm sure Goldberg, because he does a lot of charitable events and because he is a a known figure in the sports community and things like that, you know, and there's obviously this tie in with I didn't know Goldberg was was in Jacksonville, but apparently he is or members of his family is. So he's already got the hookup with the cons. So, you know, from that point of view, it may not be a bad idea to bring somebody like that on board or at least, you know, create some sort of ties with them and some sort of promotional aspect. But as far as Bill Goldberg coming in there to face somebody who, you know, you know, uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Wardlow would be two guys that would make the most sense for him to face, and neither one of them are at a point where they're anywhere near ready for a guy like Goldberg. So, you know, the idea for some of Goldberg, you know, being a member of the AEW roster, I'm sure probably excites some people, but I think in, in all reality, uh, yeah, we, we, I don't think we're going to see that. But you never know. Tony Khan does like spending money, and we have seen bigger surprises end up in AEW, even if only for one night. Remember Shaq in the uh, ambulance? I'm still trying to figure out where Shaq went. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low-key at first. Like, ah, bah, bah, bah. But he keeps going. He claps. Yeah, I got him. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.